UN initiative to support Paris Climate Change Accord, the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations has launched a 7.1 million US dollar initiative that will directly benefit 26 developing countries across the globe. Helping them to monitor and report on forest and land use. The initiative is in line with the Paris Climate Agreement, which established transparency requirements in regards to such crucial information. Its technical and educational components include upgrades to the reporting platform, developing a widely accessible e course, and improved capacities for forest management. The two-year project is co-funded by the United States Headquartered Independent International Financing Entity Global Environment Facility. Our sincere appreciation, Food and Agriculture Organization and Global Environment Facility. Your vital work heralds a bright future for our planet, where in heaven's love and blessing we all join as one to repair our precious home. France supports food aid in Gaza. France has made a donation of 1 million euros to assist the United Nations World Food Programme in ensuring food security for 80,000 most vulnerable Palestinian people in Gaza. The contribution enables the provision of electronic food vouchers to families, giving them the freedom to purchase their own choice of food items across 200 local retail stores. In addition to granting the beneficiaries independence and normalcy, the voucher system also strengthens the resilience of the agribusiness industry and the local economy. Our chorus of warm appreciation and God bless you, France. Also a humble applause, World Food Program. May a radiant tomorrow of plentitude and happiness dawn for all the benevolent Palestinian people in Allah's comforting peace. The Netherlands has set up a 14.5 megawatt peak floating solar farm. Dutch solar equipment supplier Hroen Levin and Germany had acquired renewable energy company Baifa Renewable Energy, recently partnered to build the Netherlands' largest floating solar park near the city of Suale. The mounting system was developed in collaboration with Germany-based solar company Zimmermann PV Steilbau. The sectoren project, which utilizes almost 40,000 photovoltaic panels, took six weeks from start to finish and can generate electricity for close to 4,000 households. This is a duo's third floating photovoltaic project, and its goal is to build enough floating solar farms to achieve a total output of around 100 megawatt peak in the Netherlands. According to Baiva RE, floating solar farms are a promising renewable energy technology for Europe. Kudos Baiva RE, Roin Leven, and Zimmermann PV Steilbau. We hope to see more enlightening technologies soon to create an emission-free world. Taiwan, also known as Formosa, a shining world leadership award for compassion recipient, plans to transition to an all-electric bus fleet. The government of Taiwan, Formosa, will invest over 972 million US dollars to help develop the electrification of buses on city, countryside and highway routes on the island by 2030. This news was announced by Deputy Minister of Transportation and Communications, the Honorable Juan Yulin, at the International New Energy Vehicle Forum organized by the European Chamber of Commerce, Taiwan, Formosa and Partners. Deputy Minister Yu Lin also stated that Taiwan, Formosa was interested in collaborating with the European Union to achieve technical advancements such as enhancing battery durability and expanding the range of electric vehicles. In addition, the government also promotes the development of e-scooters and motorcycles as well as partnership between companies to support the sector. Our heartfelt thanks, the Honorable Huang Yulin and Taiwan Formosa for your green energy commitment. In the celestial's abounding grace, may clean air and luscious greenery embrace idyllic Taiwan Formosa now and evermore. Gardening project brings fulfillment to refugees in Australia. 
Burundian refugees in the Australian town of Mildura in northwestern Victoria have found satisfaction in growing their own food, especially crops such as maize that have cultural importance, donated by non-governmental groups to welcome the refugees Mildura's Burundian community farm enables the approximately 100 newcomers to practice familiar skills. One of the participants, David Majembere, said, I love my life here because I managed to find the work I did back at home. So that made me love the place. Victoria's Department of Health and Human Services supports the gardening project with a grant that seeks to enhance local food in Mildura. Many thanks supporting non-profits and Victorian government. Hats off, all participants. May you continue to grow your own food, spreading waves of happiness in Mildura and beyond through your beautiful gardening endeavor in divine blessing. Startup creates steak and chicken substitutes from fungus. United States-based Meaty Foods has developed vegan steak and chicken substitutes from mycelium or the roots of mushrooms which are extremely fast growing in the company's special fermentation tanks. The products have a fibrous texture, are high in protein and made of only five ingredients as well as being non-GMO and rich in fiber, minerals and vitamins. The growing process is over 1,000 times more efficient per acre than using cows and over 20 times more efficient than producing protein from soy. Meaty Foods has the goal of providing affordable, nutritious, plant-based meat to everyone, forever. The products will be available next year in select restaurants in Colorado, United States, with a larger rollout following. A big round of cheers and applause! Meaty Foods. May your amazing offerings be a great success and help even more people to make the switch to the healthy and compassionate vegan lifestyle. Orangutans rescued after forest fires in Indonesia. Six orangutans were saved and released back into the forest of Gudapang, West Kalimantan, by a rescue team from Gunung Palung National Park the Natural Resources Conservation Agency of West Kalimantan and United Kingdom headquartered International Animal Rescue. Among the six orangutans were a mother and baby, nicknamed Mama Sifa and Sifa, whose forest home had been burned down. They had been found wandering around the village plantations, looking for food and having serious health issues. After being given immediate medical care, they were relocated to an area of the forest deemed suitable for them. Many thanks Indonesian animal rescue workers for saving these precious orangutans. We wish you lives full of safety and happiness, Mama Sifa, Sifa, and other treasured rescued friends. May all wildlife habitats be caringly guarded as we become better earth guardians in heaven's divine protection. Supreme Master Ching Hai thankfully present Gunung Palung National Park, the Natural Resources Conservation Agency of West Kalimantan, and International Animal Rescue, each with the Shining World Compassion Award, with all love and gratitude. Also, a humble contribution of 20,000 US dollars to International Animal Rescue in support of their compassionate work. May the heavens grant good health, long lives, and protection to all involved, as well as the cherished wildlife who are blessed with your devoted care.